I want to share briefly, quickly, and simply what helped me shift my self-concept easily. Instantly, really. So let's jump into it. So spirituality, law of attraction, law of assumption, it can be incredibly confusing when you are entering this marketplace and navigating around you're bombarded with all of this information and a lot of it may contradict itself so what is right and what is wrong the simple answer is either everything is right or everything is wrong what is right is what is right for you there is no right way to do it there is no wrong way to do it there is only what resonates with you and what works for you so if anything that I say doesn't resonate, that is absolutely fine. I'm aware that maybe, hopefully, I may resonate with some people. The way I explain things, what has worked for me, may work for some other people, but the opposite is also true. It is about you. It's about you finding out what works for you. So, self-concept. The first thing really is what is self-concept and Quite simply, it, it does what it says on the tin. It is the concept that you have of yourself, who you are. So when we are asked who we are, most of us in most situations are going to list off name, age, occupation, family, whether we're married, whether we have children, maybe pets, we're gonna list our likes, our dislikes, where we go on holiday, what we do at the weekend, all of these things. So in a nutshell, that is gonna be your self-concept. But all of this has come from conditioning. All of this, this character that you're playing, and this is just a character that you're playing. Why do I say that? We'll get into that a little bit more, but because these things can change. And if these things can change, is it you or is it a shape you're taking at the time? So these things are that character that you're playing. And you may think that this is your self-concept, but in reality, your self-concept is what you believe yourself to be. And this comes down to ego as well. And we all know I like to talk about ego. If you've not worked with me, you probably don't know. So ego is the false identification of yourself. So when you believe yourself to be all of these things, you get wrapped up in ego. That is ego at play. So when we want to shift our self-concept, we're trying to shift our belief that we are these things and shift it to us believing that we are something else. And this is where I see a lot of people get into this dance of opposition. And this is where what I did can slightly differ. So you've got this self-concept here. You've got all of these things that you believe yourself to be that the ego gets wrapped up into and you dance around as this. You take this shape. But you're now thinking, I don't want to be this anymore. I want to be this. And so you start affirming and bombarding this with affirmations that contradict this. So the opposite affirmations with the intent to reprogram your subconscious. And I'm not saying this doesn't work. This does work. But there is an easier way to do it. And it's so simple because you are already doing it. You just have to realize that you're doing it. So you've got this self-concept here and you've got your new self-concept here and you are using this to oppose this. But the problem is oftentimes when we oppose something, all we do is make the thing that we're opposing much stronger. Fighting isn't always the way to win the battle. Everything's energy. When you're opposing, you can strengthen this. And you get caught up in this dance, this battle between the two. You get frustrated. 
And this is where we can look at what we can do about this, how we can make this simpler. Because I want to say that you are not this and you are not this either. You are neither. So what if we are to let both of them go? And what if we are to come here to the place where we see this, we see all of this, and we also see this? What if we're to fall back to that place where we see it all? And what if rather than oppose this with this, sorry, waving my hands around in front of my face, what if rather than do that, we allow ourselves to fall back to here, where we are when we are witnessing this, when we are seeing this, when we are looking at all that programming that has created us in the way that we believe ourselves to be right now, when we're able to see that, what if we come back to this point here and then we reprogram ourselves and then we recreate our self-concept. It's a very subtle difference, but it's very profound. And so you may be asking, how do you get to here? And you know, what is that? Why is it so powerful? This is what we call many things. This really is the I am state. It is the void state, which I will probably be talking about a lot because it is the thing that changed my life. It is the thing that creates everything. It is everything. It is everything. So a really easy way for us to try and understand this is to take an example. So let's say we are reprogramming our beliefs about money, our self-concept about money. So on the one hand, you've got the conditioning which says, I am poor, for example, and has all these beliefs that are ingrained within us, such as money doesn't grow on, etc., etc. Money does grow on trees, by the way. New self-concept. So you've got this, you've got the I am poor, you try to reprogram it with the I am rich. So you've got I am poor, I am rich, I am poor, I'm rich, I'm poor, I'm rich. Backwards and forwards. The I am poor will pop up when you're in the supermarket and you see the extortionate prices of things. You see the programming and you're like, I'm rich, I can afford that. No, it's too expensive. There is this. So you've got these battling it out. But what is the commonality between this? What is at the root of both of these? I am poor, I am rich. What's at the core of it? The I am. The I am. So everyone's affirmation, before they start reprogramming, before they start creating a new self-concept, before you start saying your affirmations, you should just be. You should pull all of your energy back. You should not touch any thoughts in your mind. You should just be, I am. I am. I just am. Before anything else that arises, I just am. Because you just are. Being. You just are. You aren't these things because you can see them, because they're transient. If you can shift from this to this, is that who you are? How can it be? You just are. You can be this, you can be this, but you just are. 
And so this is the most powerful way to shift your self-concept, to bring yourself back to the very core of your being, to calm your mind, to meditate. And I'm not talking about make them obsessed with you meditations, I'm talking about silent meditation. Really every moment of your life can be a meditation because meditation really is witnessing everything non-judgmentally. Just witnessing. There's no judgment there, you're just witnessing, you are just aware. Meditation should be being the I am. Just being what you are before you became anything else. If you practice this, if you draw yourself back to this and then you reprogram and then you create a new self-concept. It will be oh so powerful and so easy. From here, from the I am, you can be anything. You can be absolutely anything. You can take any form, any shape that you want. But the moment you step up into something, be it the I am poor, be it the I am rich, the moment you do that, you immediately limit yourself because you're shutting off anything else that is contradictory to that. Which in some situations, I am rich, if that is what you desire, fair enough, that's good. However, when you come down to here, you can then go out and you can take any form, play any game, play any part in this life that you want to play. So focus on feeling into just the state of I am. Nothing more than that. Nothing more, just I am. I am. And from that state, observe everything else. Witness, observe your thoughts, your reactions, your programming, your beliefs. There's no need to fight any of it. Your most powerful weapon is simply to observe it. Because by observing it, you're creating that separation. And the more time you spend there with that separation, the less powerful they will become until they just fade into oblivion and they get transmuted into new self-concepts, new beliefs. So hopefully this was helpful to some of you in some small possible way. As always, like, comment, share, subscribe and have a beautiful, beautiful day. I'll see you soon. Much love.